Good morning, 5-6. Good morning. Today we are doing a math lesson on converting decimals, uh, sorry, converting fractions into decimals. All right, we're going to be going to the hundredths. What we're learning today is we're learning to write decimals as fractions because every decimal has an equal fraction and every fraction has an equal decimal. This is because fractions and decimals are in our everyday life. For example, in sales, can be to do with money and recipes, certainly have some fractions in them. Uh, what I'm looking for today is that students can convert decimals into fractions. All right, so let's have a look at an example. What if something is cut up into a hundred parts? All right, we've talked about tenths before. If something's cut up into a hundred parts, then the denominator will be? At the bottom, 100. Will be 100, okay? We know that this line is called the vinculum, but what does it mean? What does the vinculum say? Divide. Does it have to say yeah, that? Yeah, have confidence. The vinculum means divide. So whatever it is has been divided into a hundred parts. So have a look at my chocolate brownie over here. Okay. This is a big plate of chocolate brownie. It has been divided into a hundred parts. So my denominator is 100. And if 18 pieces have been eaten, that leaves me with 82 pieces of brownie left. So this fraction of brownie that's left is 82 hundredths. 82 pieces left, 82 hundredths. And that is my numerator that goes up the top. 82 out of 100 pieces. And that's what this says. How many have I got? 82 out of a total of 100. But when we convert this to a decimal, all right? 0.82? Yeah, you're, you're quite right. So let's do exactly that. I have my place value chart. I highly recommend, if you have any trouble with this, you always draw up one of these. And when you say this correctly, it becomes really easy to transpose to a decimal. How do I read that? What does it say? Lolly, can you tell me? Just... Um, no. It says... <laughs> Jesse? 82 divided 100? It says 82 hundredths. Oh. All right. 82 hundredths. So I know that I need to be my zero. My decimal always goes on that spot. And I simply move the number to the right of the decimal. This number is in the tenths column. And this number is in the hundredths column. So it would be 82 hundredths. When you read it as a decimal, you always name it after what column the last digit is in. So it's 82 hundredths. Simple? Let's have a look at the example, first one, that is in your workbook. First one, this is in Tuesday's section of your workbook. And all the squares below have been separated into hundreds. They're all divided into 100 pieces. And your first example is 11 hundredths. So, how many hundredths are coloured in? Eleven. Eleven. A hundred pieces, eleven coloured in, and I need to convert it to a decimal, and they tell me that that is written like that, eleven hundredths. Your numbers simply move to the right of the decimal. If I have... So when I have eleven hundredths written like this, and I need to convert it to a decimal. I know that I have a one in the tenths column and a one in the hundredths. hundredths column. Very good. I don't have any whole numbers yet because we're still less than one. So my first one goes in the tenths and this one goes in the hundredths, hundredths column. Excellent. So it becomes written like that. Zero and eleven hundredths. This is what I was going to say. It's really important when you have a decimal like that that you read it properly because later you're going to convert decimals back to fractions and if you read it correctly it becomes very simple. It is not 0 0.11. How do I say that number? Jesse? 3.11 hundredths? 
is just 11 hundredths, which means I know that I can read it as 11 hundredths. And if I read that correctly, it becomes really simple to write it as a fraction. We'll do that later. Okay, so going back over, what we're learning today is how to convert uh, to write decimals as fractions. It's really important in everyday life to do with money, sales events, creating recipes. All right, and I'm looking that all the students can convert decimals into fractions after this lesson. Okay.